Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappy, and playing a druid can be pretty weird. Unlike the cleric, which most people incorrectly believe is a healer and a buffer that doesn't do damage, you actually are kitted out as primarily a healer and a crowd controller that doesn't really do outright damaging spells. Not to say that you don't have any, or that the ones that you have aren't any good, but most people just don't know what to do with a druid. Which is probably why they're the least played class by far, according to both my own personal games and also science. Now, that's actually pretty unfortunate, given that, as I have come to learn the hard way, druids actually have one of the largest spell lists in the game behind only the sorcerer and the wizard. Especially the wizard. So I'm gonna help try to bust the druid out of its largely unplayable stereotype by subjecting you to every single spell in the spell list. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, and if you feel like gnolls are more similar to cats than they are to dogs, then shut the fuck up about it. But with that out of the way, let's begin. To understand a druid's spell list, you have to understand its place in the game. A druid is a mid-ranged fighter with decent but not great AC that does both melee and ranged combat, but doesn't really commit to either. In fact, it doesn't really commit to fighting at all, since most of the druid's ability may it, as I said before, a much bigger support-centric role than even the cleric is. What's bound to happen is that a ranged druid will probably stick in the back and toss out ludicrous, non-direct crowd control abilities, while a melee druid is more likely to get in the thick of it and smack people with its big fuzzy nuts, at the expense of concentration spells, because you aren't proficient in constitution and you will be reminded of that. Luckily for you, the druid is one of those classes that can take a little nap and then wake up with a completely different spell list, so with the exception of your cantrips, you can have fun experimenting with whatever spells you feel like. But that brings us to the main part of the video, so let's get started. Started, starting with cantrips! Control Flames, for when you want to be a fire druid. Create bonfire, intended for making bonfires, but nobody ever uses it for bonfires. Druid Craft, the quintessential I'm a druid cantrip. Frostbite, minor damage, but if you want to debuff somebody, disadvantage is never bad. Guidance, eh, you'll never really remember that you have this, even if you do take it. Gust, for when you want to be a wind druid. Infestation, do you know what's better than magic? Bees! Magic Stone, when in doubt, throw rocks at them. Mending, a minorly useful spell that you won't need until you need it. Mold Earth, for when you want to be an earth druid. Poison Spray, poison is undoubtedly the worst damage type in the game, and while the spell does great damage, at first, it doesn't scale at all. Primal Savagery. I would argue that this spell is straight up better than Shillelagh, because it does more damage unless you have a strength mod of plus three, and it actually scales up. Produce Flame. This spell is your light spell and your main range damage spell all in one. Resistance. Nope, just dodge. Shape Water. For when you want to be a water druid. Shillelagh. This spell was great! Back before Xanathar made the power creep. Thorn Whip. While it may not be totally useful, it's still very fun to cast this on somebody and then say, get over here! Thunderclap. You never really want to be surrounded, so so this isn't really gonna do you much good. First level! Absorb elements. Good for when you need to weather the elements. Animal friendship. You're a druid. This is your whole job. Beast bond. You'll either use this in conjunction with animal friendship, or you won't really use it at all. Charm person. I mean, people are animals too. Create or destroy water. For when you need water. Cure wounds. Healing is never a bad thing. Detect magic. Either put it in your list and cast on a whim, or put it there to ritual cast. Detect poison and disease. Technically, it does its job. Stupid rating system. Earth tremor. You put difficult terrain all around you, and this is supposed to be a good thing. Entangle. So so many fights, both early and late game, have been won by this spell. Fairy Fire. Not as amazing as Entangle, but still amazing. Fog Cloud. Eh, it's not that useful in combat, and stealth isn't gonna work when the guards notice a giant wall of fog rolling up. Good Berry. This spell is straight up better than Cure Wounds outside of combat. It's a flat 10 HP over the course of one minute. Wake up, people. Healing Word. For when they fall down. Ice Knife. This spell is broken and should seriously be in level 2. Enjoy! Jump. Okay, so I once took this spell as a meme, and it actually helped me, and I am embarrassed by it every day. Long Strider. You move a bit further. I mean, if you want. Pure Purify food and drink. Lucky you, you can swap out spells. Unlucky for you, no one is going to wait eight hours for you to magic proof all of their dinner. Snare, for when you just can't find the whole drum set. Speak with animals, way more useful than you'd think. You're a druid, so people expect you to do this anyway. Thunderwave, according to Jeremy Crawford, this spell does not behave like how Thunderclap does, so just be aware of that. Still a good spell, though. Second level! Animal Messenger. Sure, sending is faster, but it also costs a third level spell slot, and you don't get to look like a madman doing it. Bark Skin. You get a worse version of Mage Armor, but you really need it. Beast Sense. This could be useful for scouting, but you won't get much use out of it compared to other spells. Dark Vision. You will certainly have found alternative ways of dealing with darkness without resorting to this spell. Dust Devil. It hits funny for a few turns, and then you realize that it's just not that good. Earthbind. Potentially useful if you know you'll be fighting flying things, but everybody has ranged capabilities in some way, and you're not gonna preemptively prepare for it. Enhance Ability. Give advantage on a check of your choice. Usually the help action is enough. Find traps. This is what the rogue is for. Flame Blade. By level 5, you do more damage with Primal Savagery and its concentration, so why do you want to be in melee anyway? Flaming Sphere. Just keep whapping the bad guys with your big ol' flaming balls until they stop. Gust of Wind. The problem is that this spell doesn't exactly prevent people from just sidestepping it. It's just a line. Healing Spirit. This is the most overpowered spell in the game. DMs either ban it or only let a person get healed by it once, and it will still be more powerful than it has any right to be. Heat Metal. Very powerful if the bad guy has 
metal, which is usually always. Hold person. If you can get it off, tell the fighter to go ham, because the paralyzed condition is dumb. Lesser restoration. Useful when you need it, and you don't need to have it when you don't need it. Locate animals or plants. Please don't take this spell. There are animals and plants everywhere, and it's annoying for the DM to have to come up with random specific plants or animals that you care about. Locate object. Again, situationally useful. Moonbeam. Moonbeam! Kill Stroud with a level 2 spell. Pass without trace. If you want to be stealthy, here you go. But be warned that most stealthy situations will not wait for you to change spells. Protection from poison. You don't need this. Skyrite. Make dicks in the sky. Seriously, that's all this is good for. Spike growth. A good area denial spell. Warding win. You'd think that this spell might be all that useful up until you use it, and you realize, nope, no, no, it's not. Third level. Call lightning. It's all fun and games until the anime druid casts Kirin. Conjure animals. Here come the squirrels. Do 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 do. Daylight. Dispels darkness and makes vampires mad. That's about it. Dispel magic. Super useful. Magic may not be common, but it's more common than most things, and it's way more dangerous. Erupting earth. A powerful spell that will make your enemies' lives hell. Feign death. Don't worry, guys. I have a plan. Mm. Flame arrows. I suppose you could use this to help out the archer of the group. Meld into stone. Doors. Where we're going, we don't need doors. Plant growth. You will not need this, but it's super druidy, so it gets a 2 anyway. Protection from energy. You will not need this. Sleet storm. It's a third level spell for something that spike growth could do way better. Speak with plants. Now tell me, little rutabaga, what atrocities have you seen? Tidal Wave. I love this spell because the material component is just a drop of water. Wall of Water. I hate this spell even if the material component is just a drop of water. Water Breathing. Don't take it normally, but pick it up when you need it. Water Walk. You don't need this spell. Wind Wall. Most of the wall spells run into the major hiccup of putting a giant wall between you and the fight that also people can just walk through. Fourth level! Blight. I wonder why the plant-based class has a spell specifically tailored to hate plants. Charm Monster. Like Charm Person, but better. Confusion. Another crowd control. You have better. Conjure Minor Elementals. <laughs> Don't don't conjure elementals, you'll lose control and they'll hit you. Conjure woodland beings, the obviously superior alternative to conjure elementals. Control water, sea-based campaigns will find some use in this, but otherwise you don't need it. Dominate beast, hey, this is what I do with my boyfriend in bed. Hey yo, I'm just kidding, I'm single. Elemental bane, this spell gets more and more powerful the more allies you have. Just be prepared to run away really, really hard. Freedom of movement, the circumstances of this spell don't come up so often, but it is not so situational that I completely dislike it. Giant insect, what bothers me is that the spell assumes that you just happen to be holding on to 10 centipedes, 3 spiders, 5 wasps, or 1 scorpion. Grasping Vine. Eh, you have better crowd control. Guardian of Nature. Tree powers activate! Hallucinatory Terrain. It's not the most powerful spell in the world, but it's still cool to cast a spell and suddenly you're in final destination with items turned off. Ice Storm. It only lasts for one turn, but in that one turn you get a pretty good reason to not step into the area. Locate Creature. For when your ex tries to skip town. Polymorph. Getting hit while wild shaped could turn the spell off, but if you turn somebody else into the giant carnivorous albino turkey, Stone Shape. You do not need this spell. Stone Skin. You really need concentration, and it's probably not worth this. Wall of Fire. This wall gets a pass because unlike the other walls, it actually dissuades people from walking through it. Watery Sphere. It's annoying as hell to be trapped in a bubble. Fifth level! Anti-Life Shell. Ha 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 ha! My bubble is impervious to your thick dicks! You can never stop me! Hey, is that an arrow? Awaken. Be a dick to shrubs by filling them with existential dread. Commune with nature. I mean, this is what druids do. Conjure elementals. Don't conjure elementals. You'll lose control and they'll hit you. Contagion. Oh hey, a debuff spell that takes three turns minimum to work, and even then, it probably won't. Control wins. At sixth level, I would expect more from the wind druid. Geos. You could make an anime out of this. Greater restoration. It's like lesser restoration, but greater. Insect plague. This should be less than a sixth level spell for what it does. Maelstrom, only marginally better than the Wind Druid. Mass Cure Wounds, healing magic gets a 3. That's just the rules. Planar Binding, you will largely never need this, but Druids don't care. Reincarnate, please use this spell more. I know that Revivify is better, but please. Scrying, use this spell to annoy the DM. Transmute Rock, you'll waste the time of a few enemies, but other spells do that better. Tree Stride, Druids don't get many movement options, and even though this one is super restrictive, it's still the most you're gonna get. Wall of Stone, oh hey, an actual fucking wall. Wrath of Nature, it's a lot of lackluster effects that you might find you in, or you could just use your concentration for something else. Sixth level! Bones of the Earth. It's fun to crush people with your earth dongs, just make sure to use it inside. Conjure Fae. Come on. What do you want me to say to this? Druid Grove. The most flavorful spell that the druid has. Take it and make your druid grove beautiful. Do it, please. Find the path. No. Heal. Heals are the best. Hero's Feast. You will not need this, and you won't remember that you have it. Investiture of Flame. Concentrate to become a Fire Elemental. Investiture of Ice. Concentrate to become an Ice Elemental. Investiture of Stone. Concentrate to become an Earth Elemental. Investiture of Wind. Concentrate to become a Wind Elemental. Move Earth. You can move Earth, but you have to do it very, very slowly. Primordial Ward. Another spell that relies on you getting hit in the first place for it to work, and even then, it ends early if you do its better effect. Sunbeam. Sunbeam! 
Hills for slot economy. Transport via plants. Like the tree spell, but now with vegetation. Wall of thorns. Somehow a wall of thorns is more dissuasive than an entire wall of fire. Windwalk. Tell me, paladin. Do you vape? You will. Seventh level! Firestorm. 70 D10 is a very scary number, whether it's spread out or not. Mirage Arcane. Not sure why druids have this, but nothing is more terrifying than raising your arm and turning the world into a weed bowl. Plane Shift. Good for plot convenience and for adding five new domains to the cleric. Regenerate. Super useful heal spell. Reverse Gravity. Gravity Rush wishes it could be this tabletop. Whirlwind. Better as a Pokemon move. Eighth level! Animal Shapes. A more flexible polymorph. Antipathy slash sympathy. Used to play either keep away or keep a stay. Control weather. Damn, druid, I can't control the weather. Earthquake. Big scary quake powers. Feel mind. You shatter a bad guy's mind for 30 days. Scary and powerful. Sunburst. 12d6 radiant damage isn't as strong as it sounds, and blindness can be accomplished way easier with an 8th level spell. Tsunami. Very hard to avoid, but not actually that threatening. Ninth level! Foresight. It's a non-concentration super buff for 8 hours. That's okay, but I feel like druids get stiffed on 9th level spells, which is the only reason why this gets a 2. Shape Change. Change into literally anything you want, and even keep your druid abilities. Storm of Vengeance. It just, it takes forever to get going, and the effects don't stack. Against a big army, sure, it's cool, but cinematic moments don't come up super often. True Resurrection. Bring back all those party members that sacrifice themselves to get you to ninth level. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click on all my social media, please put to good use all of my hard work, and maybe support me on Patreon, because after doing so many spells in one video, I'm starting to crack. But yeah, Davy out.